In this video, I'm going to go over terrains, but also I'm more focused on brushes. As you can see, whenever you start working with terrains in Unity, notice how you have multiple brush options that you can work with as far as creating and designing your terrain. But let's say, though, that none of these brushes really meet your needs and you'd like to make a brand new brush. You can do this through working in GIMP or Photoshop. So let me go ahead here. I'm going to demonstrate this inside of GIMP. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a new file. So I'm going to go ahead and choose File New. And as far as the size goes, it doesn't have to be that large. So I could say something like 600 by 600. If I go under Advanced Options, though, I am going to choose to fill it with the background color. Now, by default right now, I have my background color set as far as black is concerned. When you want to actually make a brush to be imported into a program such as Unity, you're dealing as far as like masking elements, where you only want to work in white and black. Black is going to be hidden, and white is what's going to show. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. From here now, I'm going to make a new layer, and I might call this Brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the Brush tool, and you can get as fancy as you want here. But maybe, for instance, under the vegetation here or oils, maybe I do more of an oils or there we go. And I'm going to take up the size here a little bit. And I'm just going to click once. Now you can get as creative as you want, but again, you want to make sure that you're working on a black background with a white foreground as far as the brush print is concerned. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file and I'm going to export. I'm going to leave it as a PNG, so I'm going to call this My Brush. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to navigate to the project that I'm working in right now, as far as Unity is concerned, and I'm going to store it in the Unity project. So if I go to Unity Projects, 1011, under Assets, maybe I even make a folder called My Brushes, and I'll go ahead and export. The defaults is fine for this, so I'll go ahead and say export, and let's jump back into Unity. So there you can see now my brush has popped up here, and what I'm going to do is while I'm still in the terrain editor for raise or lower terrain, I'm going to choose new brush. And notice now, under the assets, your new brush should appear. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and now you can see I've made my own brush that I can use to come in and make edits to a terrain. So this can give you a lot more creative freedom as far as using either GIMP or Photoshop. Again, so long as you make a black background with a white brush element, you'll be able to import it as a PNG.